welcome to the Mid the Pines podcast, where Grove City College alumni and friends' stories come to life. Explore more episodes at alumni.gcc.edu slash podcast. Hi, friend Zach Jew, back here with you on the Mid the Pines podcast. For those of you that don't know, I'm a 2011 alum uh, of Grove City and currently serve as one of the college's development officers. Today, we've got a special bonus episode for the Mid the Pines podcast. Usually, you're hearing from one of our alumni from across the country to learn more about how they're impacting the world around them. But today, we're staying right here on campus. So we're going to meet someone on our staff familiar to many of our alumni and friends, my boss and fellow alum, Jeff Prokovich. Uh, Perhaps you've seen Jeff riding in the front of the annual homecoming parade, or you've met him at an alumni and friends gathering somewhere across the country. It's because Jeff serves as our vice president for advancement. Jeff is a graduate of the class of 1989 and received his master's in higher education from Geneva College. And he has served Grove City since 2001 and is currently responsible for giving me my marching orders. And Well, it's actually for expanding the college's visibility, cultivating major gifts and scholarships, and overseeing the annual fund and alumni relations in order to deliver a high quality higher education experience for our students. So Jeff, since you've been on the other side, on on my side, uh, I'm going to welcome you officially to the Mid the Pines podcast. Thank you, Zach. Well, Jeff, we're we're gonna talk about a couple of things. On this bonus episode, we're gonna talk about three things, really. The first one is gonna be Gecko Robotics, which many of our uh, listeners know. Uh, but some of them don't know uh, about Gecko Robotics. We're going to talk about Impact 150, which is the annual uh, campaign uh, for, or not the annual, the campaign for Grove City College. That's going to coincide with the college's 150th anniversary. And we're going to talk about the future of Grove City College. So let's start with Gecko Robotics, uh, a company that you know well, that I know well. And for those of our listeners that don't know, it's co-founded by Jake Lucerarian and Troy Demmer, both graduates of Grove City College, I think Jake in 2013 and, uh, and Troy in 2011. And uh, Jeff, you you have known Jake very well since he was a student, and you actually interviewed him in episode four of the podcast. But what can you tell us about Jake and Gecko and, and just all the exciting things happening with them? Oh, wow, Zach, that's a lot. Um, Jake and I met when Jake was a student. Um, his actual Gecko initiative started as a student uh, senior engineer project here at the college. Uh, But I knew Jake even more closely through a program or an opportunity that he established with Team GCC. There was a group of students at the time that approached me about taking a bike trip across the country to raise money for a scholarship here at the college. And uh, I supported that effort. And uh, they went from Seattle to Battery Park in New York City uh, one summer. I think that was 2012 and had a great experience. And Some of that just caused those young men to bond, of course, with each other, um, but also with me. So we had a great time. And and, uh, in that 2012, that was part of the Grove City Matters campaign. And and so we'll talk a little bit in a a few minutes about our our new campaign. But this is your third campaign. The first one, of course, was Changing Commitment, which was overseen by uh, Dr. Dick Jewell. And uh, and then uh, Grove City Matters, uh, which actually uh, I I dug through the archives. uh, So I have a, a... Nice surprise. You've been through three campaigns. This is the middle of the <laughs> second campaign. Uh, so this is you and your wife with, with Laura Bush, who headlined our Grove City Matters she campaign. She did. That was uh, May of 2011. Uh, she was our commencement speaker that year and also did the keynote address at our campaign gala in uh, Pittsburgh at the Fairmont Hotel. Mm-hmm. So this was, so Jake's ride uh, pre-Gecko was really as part of the Grove City Matters campaign. And one of the components of our sc- of our uh, Grove City Impact 150 campaign is also scholarship, so a lot of ties, common threads to to what we're we've been doing for many many years. It's it's really great to see Jake back in the spotlight in this way, um, and Troy and the other alum employees of Gecko. Um, Jake understands the value of Grove City College and the importance of our um, students and our work, and he and Troy have opened up their facility for us for this kickoff event in, on November 3rd. So we're looking forward to them hosting and people being able to experience all that Gecko has going on uh, for themselves. Yeah, absolutely. And Gecko is in Nova Place. Uh, our listeners may not know where Nova Place is, but it's in downtown Pittsburgh. Yes. What's the facility like? I mean, it's, it's, I've been down there once. It's state-of-the-art. I mean, it's, it's just incredible what they're doing. It's amazing. Nova Place is on the north side of Pittsburgh. It was formerly the Allegheny Center Mall, for those of you that uh, go back 
a couple decades. And uh, Jake and his design team have done a great job of creating a workspace that is uh, creative, high tech, but also high touch. They, they're very close to their employees. He currently has about 250 employees with the goal, I think, of having as many as 300 by the end of the year. Um, Jake has a couple alums that are now serving in his international offices over in Europe, um, down in Texas, and other parts of the country. Yeah, absolutely. And, and part of their space, which is really cool if, if people join us for the November 3rd event, when they walk around, they'll be able to see this kind of, uh, uh, this not reno space, but this, uh, this R&D space. That yes. They've got their robots climbing up the wall, and you can see all the different technology that they have. Uh, it's They use Xbox controllers, I think, or something <laughs> akin to that. I, I, yes. I don't know technology that yes. well, but Xbox controllers and things of that nature. But just a really neat hands-on space. They're, they're creating a different world for infrastructure and, and other areas of our country that really, truly need this kind of technology. Yeah, we, we chose Gecko Robotics to host this event uh, mostly to show our alums and our friends and our donors what Grove City College alumni are doing in the tech area in this amazing industry that um, is very common in Pittsburgh, but not as common perhaps for a Grove City alum to be heading it up. Absolutely, and, and Jake is only 10 years out of Grove City. He's a 2013 alum. He's making an impact significantly uh, where he is, as many of our alumni are, uh, even on this podcast, all the episodes we've done so far, all the episodes we're going to do are all alumni that are making a significant impact in the fields of study, the fields of, of interest that they're in. It, it's just incredible what they're doing. It is, and there's hundreds and thousands of those alums out there having that impact across the country and across the world. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's talk about impact and specifically Impact 150. This is our, our official logo here. Impact 150 uh, was publicly launched uh, back in May by President McNulty and Chairman of the Board, Ed Breen, in front of Rockwell Hall, which, as many of our listeners know, is, is one of those significant, iconic buildings on campus, the clock tower uh, that no one wants us to tear down ever, and we're not going to, of course. But what is Impact 150, and, and what is the point for Impact 150? Impact 150 is a comprehensive campaign uh, that will coincide with the college's 150th anniversary coming up in 2026. Um, has three phases to the campaign, total of about $185 million we're seeking to raise. Uh, first phase that we're in currently is $90 million, and that includes uh, Rockwell Hall renovation, as well as uh, athletic uh, complex development and enhancements to our athletic program, both on upper and lower campus and financial aid, which is always a staple in the Grove City College fundraising effort. We need financial support because of our independence from the federal government and the federal loan programs. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And, and we've got just tremendous, tremendous things that are going to happen in these phases. You said Rockwell. Rockwell, I was just through there in a, a hard hat tour, uh, and we've torn everything out of the building. Just significant developments for that because a space like Gecko that we're going to go to and get to visit we want to try and model our new facilities after because there's collaboration happening all over the spectrum of different majors. We have a lot of interdisciplinary work. So what are we doing? And I know we're going to get into this too at, at the event, and we're going to continue to to have more uh, videos and things like that as, as the months progress. But what are we going to see with Rockwell? Why are we doing this right now? It's a great point. Um, the last campaign included the new construction of STEM Hall which is adjacent to Rockwell, in the back of Rockwell, for those of you that remember. And in this renovation process, we are taking Rockwell down to the studs on the interior, leaving the exterior shell, which is solid as a rock, uh, in place, and then we'll build a connector between the two buildings. So you'll be able to go from STEM right into Rockwell um, for classes and labs. Our, our new Rockwell will have a number of um, great features, including collaborative space for our engineering students. Our exercise science students will finally have labs and adequate facilities for their research and development in that area. Uh, great faculty offices, and as I said, a lot of collaborative space, cross-major, cross-discipline, uh, really to mimic what's happening in the workplace with science and technology today. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and we, would, uh, we don't want to forget, too, that not only are we doing Rockwell, but we're also doing athletics. Uh, and and I'm, I'm kind of biased towards that. I don't know. My, some of our listeners know. Some of them don't know. I, I'm an assistant coach on the men's lacrosse team. Uh, we've done really well. At the same time this year, 
We just got done with a, uh, wrapping up being 7-0 and for the first time since 1926 with the Wolverine football team. Just so many incredible stories, not only in Rockwell, but now in athletics too. Andrew DiDonato, Alec Jernstedt, who uh, have helmed, uh, have been at the helm for these sports. We're really excited for the future of Wolverine athletics, and this complex is going to do a lot to continue uh, to increase the, the excellence we can shoot towards. You're, you're right, Zach. We have been so fortunate to have great coaches put in place that continue to advance the athletic uh, varsity program here at the college. Our uh, students are interested in participating in these sports, and we need facilities to provide the excellent surroundings that Grove City College is known for and should be known for. You know, we provide excellence in the classroom. Our students are performing on the fields and on the courts at the highest level. They're performing in the classroom and on the theater stages and in the chapel at the highest levels. They deserve the best possible facilities to work and learn and grow in. Absolutely, and I'm biased to that. I, I think we should have great facilities for lacrosse all the time, but uh, <laughs> but and football and tennis and, and, and many other sports. You know, we've got 24 varsity sports now with the addition of men's volleyball in the coming uh, academic year, so we are just brimming with success in, in a number of fronts, and, and we're really excited for that. Uh, so as we look towards the Impact 150 event, uh, what can we expect to see at that event? I'm really excited because we're going to, again, be able to go through Gecko Robotics, see all their spaces, but we're going to hear from President McNulty. We're going to hear from Ed Breen. What, do, what should listeners expect if they're coming to the event on, on just an incredible night? Uh, it's, th it's the Friday night after the Thursday night football game with the Steelers versus the Titans, but what That's are they right. going to expect? So it's, it should be even more exciting than just the Steelers game uh, in general. So what can we expect? We'll celebrate the Steelers win from Thursday night on Friday evening at Gecko, and then we will, um, we're going to hear from some very gifted musicians from Grove City College, some of our student musicians and vocalists, uh, which will be fun. We're going to have some great food and drinks for the evening that we'll uh, celebrate and, and enjoy. And food is coming from, uh, I heard, the fluted mushroom. I, I don't even, I've never heard of <laughs> it before. but That is correct. A great catering company in Pittsburgh has been around a long time. We're looking forward to that uh, celebration of food and, and beverage, uh, if you will, and a great dessert surprise as well. Awesome, awesome. So what, what are we going to hear? We're going to, and maybe you, you can't give ev away every secret, but what are we going to hear from President McNulty? What are we going to hear from Ed Breen? Uh, are, you know, how much excitement are they going to have for what we're doing as well? We, we look forward to the night because it's going to be a massive celebration of Grove City College. As we look forward to 2026 and our 150th anniversary, we're going to talk about where we are today, um, where we need to go and where we need the support to get us there. Um, we have a special announcement about Rockwell that will occur on uh, the 3rd, and uh, I think that's an exciting chapter in Grove City College's history. We have a number, uh, Zach, of wonderful supporters and sponsors, organizations that we work with and our alums work with that have stepped up to help us put this event on. We look forward to recognizing them that evening. And uh, overall, um, I think it's something you need to mark your calendar for and come out to because we really think it's going to be a special night. Absolutely, and Ed Breen is 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 going to be our keynote speaker uh, essentially. And and you know we say Ed Ed's name very very <laughs> casually here, but but uh, Ed Breen is is someone that that I think folks want to hear from too. I think someone who has been a leader for our chairman, uh, our chairman of the board, our leader of the board of trustees, just for the last year and a half or so, I think. And uh, and Ed is is just a, kind of a legend in in some <laughs> of the the ethic circles in a yes. sense. But you know who who is Ed to our listeners who don't know much about him? Ed is a graduate of Grove City College from the class of 1978. Um, he has gone on to serve in leadership roles with companies like Motorola, Tyco, and now Dupont. He's chairman of Dupont. Um, has become known globally as an ethical business leader. Um, he and his wife Lynn have three children, and Ed and Lynn continue to return to Grove City College on a regular basis, especially for homecoming. They love the homecoming experience and homecoming celebration. Um, having Ed as our chair is a significant, um, si significant thing for Grove City College. Having somebody with his reputation, his knowledge, and his care and concern for our mission and vision is uh, really special. Absolutely, yeah. He's one of the top 100 most ethical people in business. Uh, rated by Edisphere uh, annually, I think, uh, as is President McNulty in the world of governance as well. I actually read uh, a case study that 
uh, Ed Breen was in, in my Harvard Business School a review guide for graduate school, and I got, I think I got an A on that, on that project, <laughs> I hope you but did. we'll not tell Ed if I didn't. Um, well, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about, uh, just about what the future of Grove City looks like. Uh, you're excited, I'm excited for the future of Grove City because we're talking about Impact 150, what we're gonna do through the significant capital uh, fundraising that we're going to do, but also just our students. As we walk around campus, we were just walking uh, all over campus today to get here to the radio studio. Why are you excited about the students that are across our campus today? Zach, you can't help but be excited. When you experience the college, to be able to walk around the quad, walk around to our buildings, through our cafeterias, the students are as amazing as they've ever been. They're, they're bright, they're dedicated to Grove City College and our mission, and they're dedicated to impacting in a positive way society and the communities that they will be in um, after they graduate. Our students today look forward to serving the common good in a variety of ways, a variety of majors, a variety of disciplines, and we couldn't be more excited for the future. Our enrollment is strong, our alumni support and our donor support is strong, uh, but we can do better, and we can continue to invest in these students so that they go out and impact a world that desperately needs a Grove City College graduate to, um, to make things a little better out there. Absolutely, absolutely. And we just had our career fair last Wednesday, and we had 170-plus employers here on campus, and they are desperately looking for our students like Grove Cities because they want folks who are hard workers, who are ethical, who, who have just the drive to impact the world around them, and much more than just a vocational calling. They're going for a calling that's, that's just going to lead them to where the Lord has, uh, what the Lord has in store for them. So we're excited for that. Uh, what can, uh, as we shift back towards Impact 150 on the November 3rd event, what can folks expect from an operational standpoint when they register the event? What can they expect after they register from a parking standpoint, from a what the night is going to look like standpoint? Uh, what, what can they expect? Sure. Um, parking is very easy. It's in the facility. Don't even have to go outside. You pull right into the garage, right up the elevator to Gecko Robotics. Uh, the team of Grove City College Advancement folks from Carnegie Alumni Center will be there to greet you. Uh, we'll have student presence as well. We'll have uh, some time just of fellowship and time together in a reception, moving into a wonderful dinner program, which will be broken up into sections with some video components and some small uh, speaker, some speakers, some remarks from Ed and uh, myself, Paul McNulty and others, um, some music and some entertainment from our talented students and overall, uh, just an exciting time to be together and celebrate all that we know of Grove City College. Absolutely, absolutely. You can join us on November 3rd at 6 p.m. at Gecko Robotics in Nova Place. We'll be uh, elated to have our sponsors, some of our sponsors represented there, uh, our event sponsor, Gecko Robotics, our platinum sponsors, Cash Dollar and Associates and Havtech, our gold sponsor, Smith Micro, which is also a Grove City-owned company, our silver sponsor, Dave Vic Benefits Consultants, which is right here in Grove City, Pennsylvania, and our bronze sponsors, Gilbane Construction and Northwestern Mutual, the gold financial branch here in Grove City. Uh, we're really excited for this Impact 150 campaign event. Celebrate what has happened, what is to come, and, and the future that we are trying to create for the next generations of Grove City College students. Jeff, thanks so much for joining us on this bonus episode of uh, Mid the Pines podcast. Thank you, Zach. Good talking to you.